Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and today I am entering a national art competition. So the art competition is hosted by the amazing Draw with Jazza and if you don't know who that person is, I will tell you about him in just a moment and I will link his stuff down below. So Jazza is an amazing artist here on YouTube who has about 800 thousand plus subscribers he has his own tv show his line of like instructional books he does um, live streams on adobe and twitch and he has all these wonderful tutorials on how to animate and draw and character design and the guy is super amazing and every month if i'm not mistaken he holds monthly art challenges so last month's challenge was an animation slay walk cycle challenge which I was too late to enter and I don't know anything about animation, but it's still really, really cool. So I decided to try my luck and enter this month's art competition. So this month's art competition is a Pokemon mashup. The rules for this competition was to take two Pokemon from Generation 1, which is the first 150 Pokemon, including Mew and Mewtwo, and smush them together. The rules said that it can only be two Pokemon, it had to be from Generation 1. Um, and there can be other Pokemon in the drawing, but the main mashup had to be the focus. Um, there wasn't to be any pornographical or sexual images, which I personally really like because I know that some people can get really weird. But anyway, um, also you can only have one entry per person and you can only enter one category. The categories are beginner and open class. Beginner would be for the people who are new to art, um, experimenting with their styles, um, are really young, just, you know. And then the open category is for people that's been doing art for longer, they're comfortable with their art, they have, you know, have a nice background. And honestly, I'm not quite sure what group I fit into. I've been drawing for about four years now, so I'm not exactly a beginner, but I'm not a professional either. And I'm kind of young, but I'm not like elementary school or middle school young, but whatever. Anyway, more talking about this wonderful piece. So I actually use Jazz's um, character design method, mostly, for designing this. And the two Pokemon that I decided to smoosh together would be um, Ivysaur, which is Bulbasaur's second evolution, and then Lapras. I don't really know why I chose these Pokemon. They fit really well together, so that's basically why. Um, so I chose Ivorius, or Ivysaur, rather, just because... It was more interesting than Bulbasaur, but not so donkey and bulky like Venusaur. The way that I went about which one would be more dominant, or which one would be the base, and which one would just have, like, its, I guess, um... Hmm. Well, which one would be added on, whatever. So, I decided to take the most simplest Pokemon and make it more detailed by adding, um certain elements from the more detailed Pokemon and putting it on the simpler Pokemon. So for example, Ivor or Lap Lapras is less detailed than Ivysaur, so it would make more sense to take a bunch of all these details from Ivysaur and put it on Lapras, which is what I did. Of course it'd be more of a challenge if I were to take stuff from Lapras and put it on Bulbasaur, but there wasn't really much I could actually do with it, besides doing the little Leia buns and then a rock or the shell. So yeah, I also decided to add a trainer kind of last minute just because I thought the place looked empty. So she's on a surfboard, that's what she's doing. So the reason I have this black book here is because I have written Ivoris, the flowering turtle Pokemon, and for some reason my camera kept focusing on it so I put that black book there that way it wouldn't focus on that. I'm using the Touch 5 markers again because I actually really like these. Um, I'm using them for the rocks and for this girl's or the trainer's suit. This is very mixed medium. I used um, Prismacolor markers, watercolors, um, and colored pencils all in this piece. Overall, I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I don't know if I have a shot, but I'm really actually happy with this. Um, this is the first time I've ever really drawn an animal like this before. I've never studied on 
plants. I normally just draw people, so I've never really drawn a background. I also know that if they were in water, you wouldn't see the half that's like submerged in water. But because that Lapras would be kind of useless and weird on land, it kind of has to be in the water. But if the whole thing was covering up the bottom, it would make less sense, you know. I mean, you need to see the feetsies. You need to see the feet because that just makes... That's one huge thing of this Pokemon. So if you're kind of wondering what I took from Ivysaur, I took the leaves. Those are supposed to be Ivy leaves. The big bulb, of course. And the leaves off of its back, I used those to be like flippers for this new Pokemon. However, they're not like flimsy like leaves. They're just leaf-shaped flippers. I also think that Iver or Lapisaur, Lap Lap this thing, is more of a turtle than anything else. Because Lapras looks kind of like a turtle. And then um, Ivysaur is like a Triceratops. So... It's more of a sea turtle than a land tortoise or something, but yeah, yeah. <laughs> so as far as poses go, I couldn't do something totally extravagant because you need to see the bulb because that's kind of what makes this Pokemon what it is, but I also really couldn't make it on land because it would be kind of useless and weird. So I just kind of had it make it in the water. So it is translucent, but just know that. That's what I had to do. Um, overall, I think that's all I have to say about this. I had a really fun time doing this, and I've seen some really, really awesome entries so far for this competition. Good luck to anybody else who's entering, and if you, any watchers, are interested, the um, closing date is the 17th, so you guys still have time. So go make something awesome. Share it with me, share it with other people, do this, so fun, ugh. So if I would have drawn Team Rocket, I would have said I had a blast. But anyway, I had a great time doing this. Thanks, Jazza. Yeah, maybe you'll see this. Awesome. Anyway. But anyway, once again, that's all I have to say. I uh, hope you guys have a wonderful Tuesday. It's the election day. By the time you're watching this, maybe we'll know the new president. Anyway, hope you guys have the, a good rest of the week. I hope you enjoy the rest of this video, and I will see you sometime later. Goodbye, and have a blessed day.